Our journey today starts in Richmond with Alan, the chair of Transport for All, an organisation which champions the right for disabled people to travel in London. What is the plan for our journey today? So I've got some business that I need to do in Vauxhall. So the first stop is Vauxhall. So Vauxhall, there is a train in nine minutes. Let's have a yeah, go. Let's do this. Alan's wife, Yvonne, always travels with him in case there are problems. At stations, the first challenge, he tells me, is finding a lift. More often than not, is that the signposting mm -hmm. is just doesn't make it obvious. So unless you know the station, finding the route that you're trying to get to mm -hmm. can be quite tricky. Unfortunately, by the time we got to the platform, we just missed the train. Then we had to let a couple of others pass because they didn't have air conditioning. If you've got breathing difficulty, hot weather like this is suffocating. Not air conditioned, I can't breathe on it. So it's not a train that I can use. While we were waiting for another, Alan noted no benches on this particular platform, which could make things difficult for the elderly or those who have difficulty walking. Once our train arrived, we were helped by a member of staff. The guy that put me on will have phoned ahead to Vauxhall, told them that I'm coming, where I am on the train. So if things go well, they will meet us with a rent. You're very welcome. Was that a good example then? I would say that's a perfect example. Perfect, good. Great coming into Vauxhall then, but on the way back, Alan would struggle. He tells me the lift is broken for the platform back to Richmond. Next on our list is a trip to the Tower of London, but things aren't straightforward. It would suggest Victoria Line and then getting the Circle District Line. I can't do that route because Victoria isn't accessible to me. Why isn't Victoria accessible? Because at the moment they've not put lifts in to get between the platforms. So instead, it's on the bus to Westminster, which is a step-free station. This is a quiet service, but sometimes Alan says he's competing with people and buggies. Once off the bus, we need to find an accessible entrance to the tube station. I can see an entrance there, but that's steps, isn't it? Yeah, I can't get into that entrance. We make our way through the crowds to the entrance with a lift. Inside, more confusing signs. Two minutes. On the platform, a blue badge marks a carriage where Alan can get on, but there are people sitting in the areas reserved for wheelchair users. People generally don't volunteer to get on. And if I'm not going far, then I don't bother. I don't, it's, not worth, it's not worth upsetting people. Finally, we arrive at Tower Hill, our last stop. A brief summary of the journey today. How do you think that's gone and, and what things have, have helped, really? You can spend a fortune on technology, you can spend money on signage, but when things go wrong, it's the staff that pick up the pieces. It's the staff that give you the confidence. They can really transform the journey experience. Well, uh, Network Rail has told us it is uh, committed to working with the wider industry to create a transport system that works for everyone. TfL says that more than 200 of its 489 stations are step-free, but it's working to improve more accessibility. Uh, and uh, we'll have the third part of our series, which looks at the Dialeride service. That's tomorrow.